Hey guys, welcome to another video. It is raining. <clears throat> Suddenly got rain. Sorry if my voice is weird. It's a little bit early in the morning. It's raining and um, it's like fall weather. It's cold. I had to wear my Adidas track jacket to stay cold because I'm going to the gym later on. But yeah, um, I've had a little bit of an annoying morning because my necklaces got tied up in a knot and it's been the most annoying thing trying to unknot them and I've just been literally sitting in my car for the past like 40 minutes trying to open this stupid knot like look at this how am I supposed to get this out guys I can't believe it I got it out that was the most annoying experience of my life. Got it out though. And then had to sacrifice these other chains though. These are just like cheap Forever 21 necklaces, so not that upset about those, but I'm actually so happy that I found this jacket in my car. See those two people right there? They've never seen a camera in their life, I think. I pull out my camera and I'm not even vlogging and they're just staring, like dead on staring. They stop in the middle of the street and they just look at me and I'm like, hi. And then they just got like embarrassed. There's some weird thing here. They close off the entire parking lot so I had to park like a thousand miles away, but here we are. Oh, great. Hopefully there's like spots open. Okay guys, <clears throat> I've been here since about 12 and right now it's 2.41 and I posted two videos, did a vlog, post, so I posted a vlog, I posted a main channel video, now I'm headed to the gym. I really like this like workout look. Adidas is perfect. I feel like in terms of fit and style, if you want to have like casual like workout clothes that you just wear day to day, like if you're not going to if I'm not going to school or anything like on a weekend or a day like this, I would love to just dress. But you guys remember that vlog I went to Adidas? I think it was two or three vlogs ago. I tried on all that stuff. Like I would love to buy all that stuff. Just got done with my workout. I decided to wear something a little bit more casual. I'm not going anywhere fancy. I found this flannel in my trunk. This is my tank top. And then I found this in my trunk too. I, you know what? I do lookbooks, so like a lot of this stuff just remains in like a back back pile of my trunk. And I still have a bunch of clothes here that I need to take again. It's just never ending. But I love having the option of these. Like you guys have no idea how often it's been they're more helpful than they are annoying like obviously when i come in here if i ever like drive anyone i'm embarrassed and i'm like sorry about the mess in my car but you have no idea sometimes i spill stuff i'm the worst messiest eater sometimes i um i don't know i just it gets cold it gets hot so it's nice having options guys i was just driving not knowing what to eat and in and out like called my name it said, Neems, get in here and get some in and out. So, like, I don't know, it just all worked out. So, what do I get at In and Out? So, for those of you that are not from California, I'm pretty sure by now you know what In and Out is. But I think in Nevada and Arizona, there's one. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong. But it's a fast food chain with really good burgers and it's actually really cheap. Like, a I think it's like a cheeseburger is two fifty five, so I think a whole meal will come to like eight nine dollars with the fries and everything. You know I'm getting the fries and everything. So during times when it's busy, they bring like some person here, and I don't like talking to people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that sounds weird, but um, I think I'm gonna get. Oh no, he's coming here. Okay. Hello. Fine, thank you. Um, could I get a number two? Would you like onions? Uh, grilled onions, please. And for your drink? The... Um, just water is fine. Water? Yes. 
Would that be all? Yes, that's all. So I have a cheeseburger with grilled onions and fry in a cup of water. Yes. Just see in the car to go. Um, in the car. Alright, your tool is four fifty nine right for something. Thank you. Wait, the meal is four dollars? Um yeah, with the water it's free. Oh free, okay. Yeah. Thank you. I love McDonald's, no hate towards McDonald's, but you go to McDonald's and one sandwich, like a Big Mac, is what, three eighty nine or something? I got a whole meal for four dollars and something. Cause I got water, but I don't like soda. This shirt was in the trunk and this is one of the things that I bleached. And I think the sun actually faded it even more. I really like it right now. Now, oh, I didn't tell you guys, but I'm sure you know. But every In-N-Out has this, like, palm tree thing that, you know, you see this. They're, like, intertwined. That's their logo, palm trees. But I think it's, like, interesting how they do that. I don't know if they bend it or they grow it bent. Is there, like, an In-N-Out farm somewhere that specializes in bent palm trees? How does a palm tree become bent? I should order the chocolate shake. But here's the menu, it's super straightforward. So you have double double is like their two meat, double cheese, that's just too much for me. Cheeseburger, hamburger, french fries, and shakes. All they have, all they need, you don't need anything else. They also serve shakes and coffee, but you know, you see other fast food restaurants, they have like chicken tenders, and they have lobster and fish, and like some, th I was, the worst one I feel like is Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box, every second has a new product. Or I think Carl's Jr. does the same thing. Carl's Jr. is just like burgers, but especially, it, every second has a new burger, which is fine, but Jack in the Box literally like does everything. And I've always gotten sick at Jack in the Box. I don't know if there's a Jack in the Box in here, um, place but I want actually for today's question of the day because I usually ask a question of the day in the vlog write down your top three favorite fast food chains and I'll be really interested to hear international choices like what's what's the top like international fast food place in your hometown that you usually go to I'm pretty sure it's better than the options we have here I mean in and out is good because their meat is fresh and their french fries are fresh. It's not like frozen and stuff. I want to know if it's fake or not. Is it fake? I mean, it looks real. How is it growing bent? It literally has like two kinks. First of all, it's growing like at a cross and then it bends upwards. Did this, I'd like to know. And then you have Chick-fil-A across the street or it's Chick-fil-A Chick-fil-A or Chick-fil-A let me know in the comments below I mean Chick-fil-A would make more sense because it's like a Chick-fil-A like filet but someone told me it was Chick-fil-A which doesn't make any sense like Chick-fil-A maybe it's Chick-fil-A guys gotta let me know like Chick-fil-A you know like he's a chicken fella or is it Chick-fil-A like we serve chicken fillets here. I don't know, that's super confusing to me. I do like their waffle fries, however. Their sandwiches, you know, I'm not like, I don't sit and crave them. They do have something cool, which is grilled chicken nuggets. It's not battered, it's so healthy. Like 12 of them is 240 calories and 30 grams of protein, some like cool statistic like that. So um, it is pricey though, I feel like Chick-fil-A our Chick-fil-A is so pricey. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, I am so excited. It's funny whenever I come to these, like whenever I vlog and I'm at like a, somewhere where they're giving me service, I'm always paranoid that they think I'm one of those secret shoppers. And then they get paranoid and then I'm paranoid that I want to be like, it's okay, you don't have to worry, I'm not a secret shopper. Um, but then I kind of like it because then they start giving me like special service and like being extra nice to me and giving me like special treatment. But then at the same time, it's wrong. Let's have a fry while we drive to our parking spot. Mm -mm -mm. A lot of people don't like In-N-Out fries, which I find very strange. It's there's like, they have the skin on them still, which I love. Some of them, because they take, if you guys like, in certain in and outs, let me see if it's recording. Okay. 
In certain in and outs they make the drive through in a way that you can see um, them making all the food. And then what they do is they take, they have like sacks of potatoes and then they open it and then they have this machine where they put the potato in it and it makes it in the shape of fries. So literally like right in front of you, it makes it. The thing though is, since they do that, the drive through line and the lines in general are just super long at In-N-Out. Like, this was long compared to, this was actually a pretty good one. I came at a great time, but if you come to this in like an hour, expect to be in line at least 45 minutes. Because first of all, it's really popular. And second of all, um, it's really good and everything is made fresh. So it takes a while. So I'm just gonna park my car somewhere kind of private in the shade. So we don't have people being like, oh, there's a bum eating in and out in his car. But also, this sun is like killing me. I should be fine. It's a little bit of sun, but it'll go down soon, hopefully. Actually, yeah. Okay, so let me show you guys what I got. Tell me this doesn't look good. We have fries here. We have the burger. I love it, they grill. We have the burger. I love it, they grill the bread. Looks so good. I'm not a fan of this parking spot because the sun is like blinding me in my face right there. I ate that in like two seconds. I just have to give a background. I haven't eaten, like my diet has been so bad for the past like three days. Like I haven't eaten a proper lunch or proper breakfast so this is actually the first like full-on meal other than last night that I'm having like right now which is like 6 p.m. so keep that in mind but I'm very bad right now because <laughs> I'm craving more fries like I, I forgot that I always get two boxes of fries if someone asks me what's like one of your favorite food items you better be sure that in the top three is french fries. I see like it's longer now. Oh no, it's the same guy. He's gonna, it's, it's gonna be so awkward because I Hey guys, finished up my food and I feel really like full right now. I wanna go into Starbucks for a little bit though to just finish some work before I get home. So what I have to do right now actually is to check on my funding situation. You guys know I'm like complaining about money a lot, I'm like saving money, it's because I work, like my school has work with it in a lab, but lately it's been, lately they haven't paid me, like they paid me once, so they're behind like almost two months and then they're talking about a potential like 15 days. And I just like saw that email, I'm like, oh no, hell no, that's not gonna happen. Cause last, like being, you guys don't know, when you live month to month with just like a paycheck, well, I don't know if you know, probably some of you do know, but when you're all of your expenses, you're taking care of yourself and then you behind just fall behind just one month, all those bills roll up. And then two months, all those bills double up. So instead of paying like a hundred dollar cell phone bill, you're paying a $200 cell phone bill. Guys, I am so full right now, like you have no idea, but I'm actually glad I ate early, like usually I go to the gym way later, but since today my school wasn't that long, um, I was able to eat, like I don't remember what time it was, I think it was, it was like light, but now I'm headed home finally. And I'm just really excited to go to bed, <laughs> to be honest. I was gonna work on my sewing machine, but I'm just so tired and exhausted that I think it might be better to just go to bed because I have to wake up early tomorrow. I'm starting to try to wake, just do things earlier. But I think I'm gonna let you guys go. I have about 50 minutes till I get home. And then seriously, I'm just gonna like fall into bed, go to sleep hopefully and start a new day, start a better, hopefully, day, and we'll take it from there. So until next time, peace.